I'm Sarah Gabriel. I've been a partner here for 15 years, specialising in commercial litigation and civil fraud. A large part of my practice is acting for individuals and businesses from Russia and other CIS countries. Living and doing business here inevitably means that disputes arise, and we've dealt with a wide variety of cases, ranging from property developments, employee frauds, and a variety of business disputes. Apart from clients who've based themselves in London, I also act for a range of, of clients who still live in Russia, but have chosen to bring their disputes to be resolved in London. Usually this is because they've put a jurisdiction clause in the contract under which they're carrying out the business. And that may be uh, for arbitration in London or for the cases to go to the High Court here. Um, people are attracted by the independence of the arbitrators and the judges, uh, by their knowledge of international commerce, and I like to think by the quality of the English lawyers. Other clients who may not have chosen to come to England find themselves drawn into litigation here because claimants like to use the English courts. They offer a, a really wide range of asset freezing and disclosure provisions which particularly in fraud based cases are, are very useful. And we're very used to dealing either for claimants who want to found jurisdiction here or for defendants who want to challenge that jurisdiction. Many of the types of cases I've been talking about actually don't involve issues of English law, but issues of Russian law. Um, so far as the English courts are concerned, that's a matter of fact and expert evidence on Russian law is needed we're really well positioned to be able to deal with those issues. Uh, we have a lot of Russian speaking uh, people here. We have lawyers who've been educated in Russia and are very familiar with Russian law concepts. Um, and we know the right experts to choose and we know you have to secure them early on in a case to give our clients the best chances of success. Many of the cases we've seen involve complex offshore structures. We're very familiar with how those operate and we know the jurisdictions that they often involve, for example BVI and Cyprus, and we have good contacts and are used to dealing with lawyers there and know how the courts there operate. In some of the cases we deal with, political considerations can be very important it might impact on whether London is the appropriate forum for the case to be held and it may also have an effect on the substance of the case itself. In fraud cases, a defendant may find that in addition to the civil claims in London, he's also facing criminal proceedings in Russia, a money laundering investigation in another jurisdiction and an extradition request from Russia to the UK. We're well used to dealing with those parallel proceedings. We know that a really joined up approach has to be taken to ensure the very best outcome for our client at the end of the day.